Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, this is the second video on exception handling in Java. In this video tutorial, we will try to understand uh, why exception handling is required in Java. The exception handling is one of the powerful mechanisms uh, provided in Java. It provides the mechanism to handle the runtime errors so that normal flow of application can be maintained. Here you can see I have created one demo project and let's say uh, uh, if you run this application and the user provides a uh, user basically takes two number one is dividend and second is divider and try to divide dividend by divisor let's say user provides divisor as a zero then of course in this line of code exception is going to arise at runtime right uh, and uh, if exception is arises in line number 18 then rest of the code will not be executed right so flow of execution is going to disturb or disrupt right so core advantage of exception handling is the normal flow of application is maintained exception normally disrupts the normal flow of application and that is why we use exception handling right uh, suppose uh, exception is arises in the line number 18 then rest of the code will not be executed if you do not handle transaction uh, handle uh, exception in your application right so let's try to run this application i'm going to run this application and here ask main method start and saying that we have to enter the dividend let's say dividend we are going to enter 90 sorry let's say 90 and uh, divisor i'm going to enter 5 so it's a happy flow so you are getting a result as 80 uh, let's run it again and at this time uh, dividend i'm going to specify as 34 and divisor 0 and here you can see uh, in line number 18 exception has arises right so when our uh, dividend is tried to divide by divisor uh, the divisor as a 0 then saying that java dot lang dot arithmetic exception divided by 0 and my program has terminated and that's the reason rest of the code is not executed right so here uh, we required a kind of exception handling on place so what you can do you can uh, wrap the code which is basically requires to handle the exception within the try cache so i'm going to select this amount of code and right click and you will have an option or uh, surround with and try catch right so i have surrounded with the try catch now uh, let's see what happens uh, if I run this application and the div dividend I'm going to specify 30 and divisor 0 then let's see what happens now in this case here you can see uh, main method and means code so exception it arises uh, in this uh, line and control goes to the cache block so this line of code is not executed but after uh, catch a statement right uh, after catch a statement whatever code you have that is getting executed so in in this example we have a single line of code right main method and but in real scenario you can have a n number of local lines of code after the catch so those uh, statements will be executed if you handle uh, basically exception in your application so what uh, we have done over here so here basically we have if we have enclosed the code that might throw an exception in try block it must be used within the method and must be followed by either catch or finally block here uh, finally you have optional but uh, here you can see a scanner we are closing over here in this line of code let's say exception is arises in this line of code then still my scanner is not closed yet right because this line of code is not executed and that's the reason uh, a scanner always will have to close or uh, resources always always will have to close in the finally block so i'm going to create a finally block and uh, uh, we have uh, 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 instantiated a scanner within the try block right so this will not be reachable in the finally block and that's the reason we need to declare it outside of the uh, uh, try block and here in the finally uh, block what we can do here we can check if a scanner not equals to null then close it so a uh, finally block will be always executed either uh, in both cases if ex some exception is arises in the try block a still 
uh, finally is uh, going to uh, uh, execute if uh, all the codes within the try catch is executed successfully uh, still your finally block is uh, going to execute in every cases right so that's the reason uh, resource cleanup we should always do in the finally block the second thing is scanner if you look into the scanner class a scanner class basically implements uh, closable interface and closable interface uh, basically extends uh, auto closable so here a scanner of course you can use as a try uh, with resource so instead of uh, closing uh, 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 a scanner in the finally block directly you can use as a try with resources and that's the java 7 feature if you are not aware, aware about what is try with resources then you can watch my java 7 features which already i have posted right so that's the basic thing we have learned uh, why exception is uh, required in our application but uh, what happens when exception arises then what happens basically if you do not handle exception then what uh, happens behind the scene right if you do not handle exception then what happens now is this closed statement i'm going to delete because now closed statement we have moved into the uh, finally block right uh, sorry guys uh, finally block only we require a finally block we do not require try at all something like this okay so if you do not handle transaction then what happens behind the scene right so when uh, this line of uh, code is executed right if you do not handle transaction and uh, if you provide div dividend as uh, any number and divisor as a zero then in mathematics if you divide any number by zero that is considered as a undefined right and that's the reason java programs throw some exception right so if this line of code is executed in case if you provide the divisor as a zero then an object of exception class is thrown right and uh, jvm will check is uh, exception ha is handled uh in your application or not if yes then rest of the code uh, will be executed if you haven't handled uh, uh, exception using a try catch block then jvm basically performs some uh, a list of tasks like first of all uh, print out the exception description then uh, that will print the stack trace and terminate the program and that's the things basically happens behind the scene the the jvm uh, firstly checks whether the exception is handled or not basically if exception is not handled jvm provides a default exception handler that performs uh, a step of task what i said like uh, 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 like that will print out the exception description print out the stack trace uh, means hierarchy of the method where exception occurs and uh, causes the program to terminate right but if exception is handled by the uh, application programmer normal flow of application is maintained and rest of the code will be executed right so now here you can see once uh, we handle the transaction then if you can see the output uh, main method and a statement is getting printed right so that's the reason we require a exception handling on place here one thing we can also uh, do a uh, uh, kind of kind of check up right so here if someone is uh, uh, provided a uh, divided divisor as a zero then we might uh, uh, inform them by throwing some random exception uh, div divisor cannot be uh, zero right so uh, that that's the another thing that's the basically programmatic error and that basically uh, we can provide kind of exception handling on the place so that thing i am not going to show you in this video tutorial uh, in next series of video tutorial we'll see how we can define a custom exception or how we can uh, propagate the exception right by defining kind of a custom exception but here just we want to realize why exception handling is required in our application so guys uh, i hope you really enjoyed this video if you really like this video then hit on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel as well